I got paid today, so let's break down my paycheck to see what I make versus what I actually take home. My salary is $85,000 and I get paid bi-weekly, so my gross paycheck today was $3,269.23. Getting into deductions, my cost for dental insurance is $6.07, vision insurance is $3.21, and medical insurance is $56.38. I also contribute 8% to my Roth 401k, and that was $261.53. As far as taxes, my federal tax was $671.75, and this is for things like Medicare and Social Security. And then I live in Arizona, so my state tax was $86.50. After taxes and deductions, my net pay that I actually take home is $2,183.79. Is $80,000 a year still paycheck to paycheck in America? Absolutely it is, and let me just show you why. Now this tweet sparked a lot of debates and nearly everyone in the quotes were saying, if you make this much money and you're living paycheck to paycheck, you're just bad with money and don't know how to manage. Let's just check the facts on that. Now for this example, I'm gonna be fair. I'm not gonna use LA, I'm not gonna use New York, I'm gonna use Philadelphia. In Philly, after all the taxes, $80,000 is roughly $2,400 every two weeks or $4,800 a month. The average rent in Philly is $1,900 for an 800 square foot apartment. That's about a one bedroom. Now let's just see how much we could squeeze out that 4,800. Rent is 1,925. Groceries 400. Adjust that how you want. Student loans 450 because you made that 80k doing something. Gas 240 a month. Utilities 250. Food 300. Adjust that how you want. Car note 400. Car insurance 200. Luxuries 300 because you got to take your girl on a date or get haircuts or something. After that, you only left with 285 dollars. That is paycheck to paycheck. I'm Lexi, I'm 27, and my salary is $58,000 a year. It decreased from 78 because I decided to go down to 30 hours a week at work so I can have more time to make unhinged videos for you chicken heads. Anyway, now my salary is $1,619, and I had some money left over in my checking, so my total checking balance is $1,852. I always like to pay my credit card off in full if I can, and it's at $671, so I paid that off, and that leaves me with $1,181. So then I always put aside half of what I need for rent, which is $625, and my full car payment since that's about to come out of my account, which is 480. And that leaves me with a whopping $76. So not transferring anything to savings, and I guess I'm also not eating for the next two weeks. Follow me or else. Oh god, nothing left! Oh god, nothing left! So my six-figure paycheck looks like after deductions. Before I give you these deep details about my life, you should know a little bit about me. I'm 26, I work as a data scientist, and I live in the expensive state of Maryland. And I overshare about my finances on the internet. Now we're ready to get into it. Starting off strong, my gross pay before any deductions is about $6,700. Federal taxes, almost $1,500, and then state and local is $440. So that's almost $2,000 in taxes alone. Our country has I'm maxing on my 401k this year. That's about $1,000 per paycheck. Between dental, my FSA, and health insurance, that's about $140 per paycheck. I honestly forget what GTL automation is. My company lets us buy up to a week of PTO, so I purchased like four days. That's $77 per paycheck. The total deductions that I opt into is about $1,200. So I started with $6,700 and I'm left with $3,600. It almost gets cut in half. And then I decide to cut that in half again for my direct deposit. $1,800 goes into my checking. This is for all of my bills, all of my wants. And then $1,800 goes into my Ally Bank because that is a high yield savings account and it gives me 4.5% interest. If you want to see how I budget $3,600 per month, check out my page or let me know if you want an updated video. How much do we have left? 40 bucks. That's it? Well, you guys want to get something to eat? much I actually take home as a 26-year-old financial analyst making $79,000 a year. I get paid on the 15th and 30th of every month. My gross paycheck is $3,295. I pay $710 towards taxes, $265 to my 401k. Other benefits are $110, and I get a phone and parking reimbursement for $190, bringing my net paycheck to $2,400. Calculating this leaves me both grateful and depressed. I'm a broke ass nurse, and here's how I spend my paycheck. And some of you guys do not believe how little I get paid as a nurse. And I would not make this up. It's not cool, but it is a little bit funny, honestly. Um, and for this week, I got paid $875 after taxes. And I get paid weekly, guys. Weekly. Rent, I pay a portion of that. And then my vet bills. This is when I got wrecked, because I thought my cat was going to die. I rushed her into the ER, I was crying, and it turns out she just has asthma. Cat asthma. 
So that was $700. Thanks, Bean. Oh, and also, she has an inhaler now. With a spacer. Do you know why? Because she's a freaking cat and she can't use an inhaler without a spacer. So, I'm doing that now. Um, food? I only spent 80 bucks. Not that bad. Not that bad, honestly. Trying to get that down lower, but we'll see. Uh, it's hard when I only get pleasure from food. Investments? Zero. We're not saving anything. Also, savings? Nothing. This is my life. Um, yeah, hopefully next week will be better, but... I'm just so tired. I want to be rich. I just want to be rich. I'm so tired of this. I have a bone to pick with the government right now. I just looked at my commission paycheck today, and I swear, the more money I make, the less money I make, actually. Like, I thought I was, like, not getting paid correctly, but then I started looking at the taxes. In the three months that I have worked at my new company, I have already been taxed 13000 And And you wonder why all these celebrities go to jail for tax invasion, tax fraud. I, I'm like this, I'm about to be this close there at this rate. It's payday today, so let's budget my paycheck. I make $75,000 a year, and after taxes and deductions, my bi-weekly paycheck is $2,155. Once again, I was financially irresponsible this week, and I racked up a total of $1,000 on my credit card. I put aside $291 for half of my rent and $243 for my car payment. I had to pay $150 for a speeding ticket because I also drive irresponsibly, just like how I manage my money. I was left with $471, so I put $300 in my high-yield savings account, and then I decided to give up on my financial goals until 2024. I'll see you then. Bye! Time to look at our pay stub and get depressed again. This is the payday breakdown for 50 k salary. I usually bring in about 1000 a month on brand deals, but this month I did absolutely nothing and yes i have 79 dollars to my name at the moment so first i'm going to get sad and spend all my money on rent utilities and car insurance i do realize these numbers are low don't sue me i literally live in arkansas it is not worth it i'll say it again it is not worth it um then i pay 40 dollars for the gym 100 dollars for food and drink 100 dollars for gas and that leaves me with 130 dollars um now i'm sad so i literally have to spend 10 dollars on medicine and then 100 dollars on savings and that leaves me with 20 dollars lucky me